All right. So the best way to get coaching client, consulting client, or for your social media agency, Facebook ad agency, uh, for a local business. Um, so businesses like uh, dentists, like Cairo, like uh, even a, a real estate agent, which is um, which is an entrepreneur. It's not a brick and mortar business, but usually they operate in a certain area, right? It's way better to find them in Google. So I will show you how to find them and why it's better to find them in Google. Uh, but also after I'll show you how to find people on Instagram because there's some certain type of niche that you're going to have way uh, more chance to get in contact with them on Instagram. And there's other type of niche that you're going to find them on Facebook. So for Google, so for example, let's say I'm looking for a dentist. So let's say uh, I'm looking for a dentist. All right, so if you just go on Google and you type it dentist, it's gonna give you the city around you, right? So let's say I do, um, yeah, this is in French. Let me get it in English actually. So uh, let's say I do dentist Montreal. So there will be uh, some in English. So first thing we can do is look at the people that are running advertising. Okay, so this is an ad, this is an ad, this is an ad. So we can open all three. These are all ad. Uh, I cannot click on this one, but uh, it's over here. So this one is an ad, and at the top of the page, we have one, two, three other ad. Okay, so we got six dentists running ad right there, and if we just refresh the page, they'll either switch places or have new advertising. So I don't know if these people here, we already click on it, but I think this one we didn't, this one, we do, this one we didn't. Um, so, and if we got the top, there's another one here. So that's pretty much 10. Um, got a few one that are repeat, repeating themselves, but that's pretty much eight to 10 leads right there. So they are paying for Google ads. So we know that Google ad is most is more expensive than Facebook ad, like all the time. That's pretty much sure. So if you go on their website here, for example, let's start with this one. Um, so this one, um, well, first of all, it's not secure here. It's not a big deal anymore. And not, not a lot of people care about that. But you can tell them, uh, well, first thing, uh, well, I'll point out what could, should be improved or could be improved, and I'll do an example of a full, complete edit at the end of the video. So, it, website is not secure, so it could be HTTPS. That would be a secure website. Um, it does have a Facebook pixel, so that is good. Um, there's no marketing video that is not good. There's no button. There's no call to action. That is, that is insanely bad. Actually, that is insanely bad. Like, um, that is insanely bad. Like paying for advertising with a page like that is, is like almost a shame. Now I wouldn't say that on the audit, but it's literally that like it's, it's, it's insanely bad. Like I cannot believe it at this moment. So. Um, you could say in the audit for this dentist, for example, is look, first of all, I saw a few things that we could do better. It's not secure. Um, there's no button. There's no precise call to action. So I'm pretty sure that people get on this page after clicking on your ad that you just pay for. They don't really know what to do. So um, they don't really they won't really do anything. Um, so uh, what I would do, first of all, is have a big button with a big headline and a call to action so they know exactly what are you offering on this page. After that, you should not have all the services here. Um, you should have basically um, ads for each, each services or the one that bring you most money. 
And we should just have a separate landing page for each service that you want to run add on. And it's not going to cost more at the end of the day. It's going to cost less, actually. Um, also, um, I would have a marketing video. If you would have a video over here that would improve your uh, your conversion rate for sure. All right. So um, if you want to know more about that, um, if you want to know more on how we help dentists just like you in the region of Montreal, uh, 2x or 4x uh, their leads and their sales without spending more on their advertising budget and most of the time decreasing their marketing budget. Um, I would love to show you some results that we got or uh, just get on the call and maybe talk about uh, how we can help you do that. So if you're interested, there's a button on this page uh, where you're watching this video. You can just click on it, reserve a phone call in the online calendar, and I will gladly talk to you. So thanks a lot. Bye. So that was an example. Um, so you see it's two or three minutes for an audit. But this one, this is a good client right there. All right, so let's do another one. All right, so this one, you see um, it's more new, but no Facebook pixel. So that is the first thing I would say. Look, there's no Facebook pixel. So if you're, I would start basically by asking, look, I saw that you're running uh, Google advertising. I'm pretty sure you are considering running maybe Facebook ad in the future. Um, I saw you don't have your Facebook pixel real quick. So what is the Facebook pixel? It's basically just a little code we're putting on your page. And we're going to be able to retarget everyone that went on your page for six months in the future. So basically, this would be the most important thing to do if you're looking to do Facebook ad or advertising in the future. And also, I saw that there's no like precise call to action and button on the screen here. So a lot of people will bounce so they will get on the page and they don't know exactly what to do there's no call to action there's no button so they will bounce so i would suggest have a big call to action here uh, with um, what you're offering what is your offer and a big button all right because at the end of the day you're paying for advertising right so you're paying for each and everyone to see this so you're not paying that just for fun or just for them to um, look at your logo. So it would be a great idea to maximize the potential that you, you're getting from your advertising. Um, all right. Oh, no, no. And by the way, uh, uh, by the way, this is where you get the info later. I'm gonna sh I'm gonna tell you like how you contact those people, how you send the video audit. This is where you get it. You see here, you got the email. So you send an email with the video audit. If they didn't look at it, you send a second email 24 hours later. If they didn't look at it, you can literally send a text message to this number. Or you can, not or, also at the end, if they didn't look at any email or message, you literally call. And you literally call and you say, Hey, this is uh, David. This is Joe. I just uh, did the audit for you. i uh, show you how you could make uh, improve your uh, ad spend, your conversion, make more sales by spending uh, the same amount of money or less. So if you want to know more about that, I made a free video and it's already in your inbox. So can you check it for me right now? I'll stay on the phone. Can you go and make sure that you do have this email? Now, the person is going to go and either is, you're probably going to be with a receptionist. So it's probably not going to be the receptionist that's, that look at the email. If she does, she's going to look at the email. And if she don't, she's going to transfer the call maybe to the right person. Either way, when the person gets on the phone and say, yep, 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 I do have the email. You don't say, OK, that's good because they, they might be lying. So you'll say, okay, so what I want you to do is click on the email and you just don't say nothing. I know it, it sounds like you're giving order and you're actually giving order, but trust me, guys, this is the way to do it. So what I want you to do is actually click on the email and you shut up. And now they're going to be like in their head, they're going to be like, what the hell? What the fuck? What's going on? And they're going to think, they're going to wait and they're going to see that you're silent 
and they're going to actually flinch. And the one that is flinching is the one that is winning. Um, so now you're, you're in control. So they're going to say, oh, okay, I just click on it. Then you're going to say, okay, so you see like all the content and blah, blah, blah. So you, basically now you're in control and you make them do what you want them to do. And you tell, okay, so if it's the receptionist, like you, 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 you tell them, okay, so I want to make sure that you add the right email, that you were seeing the content. So now um, I'm guessing that you're not the right person to look at this. So I want to know when could I call back or who should I call back and when, when it's 100% sure that they did read the email. This is a killer way to do it, guys, because the person, it's his job at this point. She cannot, the receptionist, take the decision to not deliver the message that she just did, to not deliver the email and just delete it for most of them, unless they have a big trust from the doctor, the dentist. So now you're kind of making sure if you do it properly this way, that the dentist is going to actually see that email. And this is where you're basically 10xing your chance of getting a lead or a sale right there. So this is the key. So again, it's pretty easy, guys. There's basically five things we're looking really. Facebook pixel. Do they have the Facebook pixel? Do they have a call to action? Do they have a button with the call to action? So that's three things. Do they have a marketing video, a video marketing? That's four. And basically the overall of the, the, the landing page, like, is it optimized to convert? And so far, none of them are, right? And you can also look at the mobile version. Maybe it's not even mobile optimized. So you see here, boom. It's the first one that we see actually a call to action with a button. How can we help you today? We are proud, blah, blah, blah. There's, it's almost not a call to action. It's just a question. And here it's, we want to ask you, blah, blah, blah. It's not even a call to action, but there's a button, free online consultation. So it's, it's definitely the best one we got so far, but they don't have the Facebook pixel. So just the fact that they don't have the Facebook pixel, like they're having their social media here. So you can get them right there just with that. They're saying, look, we see you're putting effort in your social media. Oh, wow. That's it. That's even better, guys. So you see, you can look for things. Nothing. Of, oh, no profile. Okay. So guys, this is a good one. So you're saying, look, when you're going to do the value added, you're going to say, look, um, your page is not even available. So we could create you a page real quick and make sure that the page would be available. And yeah, because that doesn't look professional. Now, also your Instagram page doesn't really look professional, to be honest. No profile photo, not a lot of photo. So we could take care of that. Obviously, you, you won't say it like that word for word, guys, but you get my point. So this over here, social media presence, not good things to optimize here, no Facebook pixel. We could add a marketing video as well. So that is a lot of things, but um, you can also complement them. You should always start the value added by a compliment. So, hey, I see that you're doing like effort on your advertising and I congratulate you for that. We just saw you got a call to action here with a button. So that's pretty good. Most of the page I see, they don't even have that. You got some blog article here. So you're, you're trying to actually educate your client and you're showing who is in your team. So that is very, very good. Very, very good. So I see that you're a business owner that is caring for his business. So that's why I made this video for you because I, I just work. I only want to help people that have like really a passion for their business. So here's the little thing I saw here, your Facebook, your Instagram, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't really make it professional. So I'm pretty sure you would want to make this better. We could make it better with a video. Obviously you want your Facebook pixel. You explain why they want the Facebook pixel. Boom. Another audit guys. They're 
<clears throat> dozen. Now I'm showing you that with dentists because dentists, they always make their ads and their funnel wrong, but they're super hard to close because they don't have as much money as people think. They are super hard to reach. So I'm giving you an example with dentists, but dentists might not be the best niche, but it's the same, same, same thing. Uh, it's the same four or five point, the call to action, the button, the Facebook pixel, the landing page. Uh, it's the same thing. So you see over here, same thing. Uh, I would say, look, instead of your image, we could have a video. You need a precise call to action with a button. There's actually one here, contact us with a phone number. So that's a little call to action. Not that bad, but we could make it way better. Big headline. And there's too much things. You can explain that. Look. What's happening is that like people, most of your sales are probably coming from one services, right? It's the 80-20% law. So um, we want to know which services is that. And you want to advertise just for this service. Because right now, when people are clicking on your ad, it's like they're looking for a dentist. They get here, there's like a trillion of options. It gets them confused. And the number one rule in marketing is a confused mind will always say no. So uh, I think you're getting the point, guys. Like, I think it's getting through your head. The same thing again. No call to action. No button. No Facebook pixel. Um, yeah, that's, that's enough. <laughs> that's way enough right there. Um, this one, no Facebook pixel, a precise call to action button. That's good. That's good. These guys, you would think like, oh, these are good. No, these are, are, are even better leads. They need us because they care about their online advertising. You see, like they, they got a blog, they got a, like kind of really decent website. They got a call to action, a button. So these, are the call they even got a little, a little call to action at the top so these one are good these one are really good all right so yeah that's pretty much it for uh the google part now for the <clears throat> instagram part it's going to be a little different so we're not going to go with like entrepreneur that are in the info uh, infopreneur space and stuff so basically people that are selling course services and stuff so if I type in over here, Amazon uh, FBA, right? Amazon FBA Freedom. I don't know who's this guy, but he has it in his name. So he's probably selling a course on it. Best Amazon course. Boom. <laughs> here we go. So uh, look, this guy might be too advanced. We don't know, but we'll start with this one and we'll see. So he has a ClickFunnel page. This is from ClickFunnel. Quit your job, escape, you know, and find, learn how to use Amazon to make money in the life you want. He does not have a Facebook pixel. Guys, insane. He does not have a Facebook pixel. He does not have a video marketing. His call to action and button is above the fold. Um, like, <clears throat> same thing here. Thing is with these infopreneur guys, they 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 are you need to make sure like they are legit so they're actually selling courses because you don't want to be like the hero the superman that is taking them from zero to hero um you don't want to deal with a product that is not converting you want to make sure they're legit and yeah so you want to make sure of all that before and thing is, most of the time, most of these people, even as beautiful as their funnel can be, sometimes they don't even make money. They don't even make sales. So there is going to be an art sales if the person is not even making $2,000 per month. A dentist is sure that he's making $2,000 per month because its office costs more than that. Its staff costs more than that. And they're spending on Google ad, right? So... Obviously, going for people that are spending on advertising, I think we, sh we should only uh, try to get these ones. So now, how to find people that are actually 
doing Facebook ad. I'm going to show you that as well, but this is a little bit more search because you need to basically find the influencer on Instagram or I don't know, LinkedIn, Facebook, whatever you want to find them, even on YouTube. Um, and this guy is probably not running Facebook ad, I'm pretty sure, because he doesn't have a Facebook pixel. So I'm not going to do the example for him, but we'll try to find someone else. I know this guy, for example, he's a little bit more advanced than our JFAX. So we'll check out his website. Okay. So you see, obviously, his website is funnel, pretty decent. And... Um, like this guy is probably running Facebook ads. So the way to know that is to check out his Facebook page. So you see over here, we got his Facebook page. All right. Now, um, Tanner J. Fox. So now we know this is his Facebook page that like he use, he use because sometimes people have little Facebook page that they don't really use, but over here, 16 K likes, he's doing posts and stuff. So is using it. So um, we're going to go into the Facebook ad library. So you go on facebook.com slash ad slash library. And we're going to type in his name, Tanner J. Fox. And we're going to look at his page. And you can see that in Canada, he doesn't run ad. In all the countries. He does not run ad. So he does not run ad from his own page. Maybe he has a page for his own course, his own product or whatever, or maybe he's just not running ads at the moment. I don't know. But um, Kevin David, for example. So this is a person that did like 10 million of sales, supposedly. So he's for sure running ads. So if you go in the ad library, if you do Kevin David, all right, you see all the Instagram, uh, all the ad that he's running and look like he's running a bunch of freaking ad. Um, def definitely using a robot to like have a bunch of, of duplication and stuff, but trying testing things because there's literally a fuckload of ad here uh, <laughs> because you, didn't, you might not saw it guys, but 4,400. That means there's 4,400 active ad. This is insane. And you can see the people that are managing this page. There's like freaking 35 different people managing this page. This dude is going insane. And that's why he made 10 millions. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So ninja stuff that a lot of guru knows about, but they would never tell you that because they won't tell you this information if you didn't pay them a in course, but I don't want to sell a course. I want to do coaching and I have affiliate link for courses. If you really want to buy a course, check out the link in the description. There's courses for about everything you need. Um, I got my affiliate link, but if you really want coaching with me, guys, click the link in the bio, check that out. Uh, it's not cheap, but uh, it's freaking working, guys. I'm spending about $12,000 per month right now on my Facebook ad with my main business. And yeah, guys, um, I'll see you in the next one.